Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Today, I'll read an educational book called "Watch It Grow: Backyard Life Cycles." I hope you like it. Watch It Grow: Backyard Life Cycles by Barbara Reed. Watch the monarch butterfly grow. The monarch butterfly lays its tiny eggs on the bottom of a milkweed leaf. After four days, the egg hatches, and out comes a caterpillar. The caterpillar eats milkweed leaves and grows very quickly. Soon, its skin gets too tight. The old skin splits open and falls off. In two weeks, the caterpillar is five centimeters long. It spins a silk button so it can hang upside down. The caterpillar splits its skin one last time and reveals a chrysalis. Over the next two weeks, a butterfly will grow inside. When the butterfly crawls out of the chrysalis, it dries itself in the warm sun. Then it unfolds its wings and takes flight. The beautiful monarch butterfly flies from flower to flower, sipping nectar through its tube-like tongue. Watch the sunflower grow. The sunflower grows from a little seed. The seed has a hard shell to protect it from the cold winter. The spring rain makes the seeds split open. The root pushes into the earth and brings water to the growing stem. The roots and stem grow quickly. In a few days, there are two leaves. It turns sunshine into food for the plant. The stem grows straight up. Soon there are more and more leaves. A big flower bud forms on the top of the plant. By the end of the summer, the plant is very tall. The bright yellow flower turns to follow the sun across the sky. In fall, the plant dies and droops, heavy with seeds. Birds and squirrels eat most of the seeds, but some will stay hidden under the ground. Next year, they will grow into more big, beautiful sunflowers. Watch the green frog grow. The green frog lays many eggs together in a mass of jelly. The jelly protects the eggs and keeps them warm under the cold spring water. In a few days, the tiny tadpole hatches. It lives underwater and attaches itself to the plants it finds there. The tadpole grows quickly. It begins to swim around and eat plants. By the time it is eight weeks old, the tadpole has sprouted back legs. Now it gulps air from the surface of the water and eats tiny bugs. The tadpole's mouth and eyes get bigger, and its tail shrinks. It still lives underwater, but now front legs are beginning to grow. Soon, the small frog is ready to live on land, just like the big green frogs. Watch the white oak grow. The tiny acorn grows all summer long. It turns brown as it ripens. In autumn, the acorn falls to the ground. It stays buried under leaves and snow all winter. When spring comes, the acorn swells. And a white root pushes into the ground. Soon, a shoot grows straight up. It gets food from inside the acorn shell. It gets the water from the root in the ground. Next, the tiny oak tree grows leaves. Now it is called a seedling. Under the ground, the seedling's roots spread and grow. When the tree gets bigger, it's called a sapling. The sapling grows taller each year. Its trunk gets thick and woody and brown. 
The oak tree grows and grows, and it gets bigger and bigger. When it is fifty years old, it starts to make acorns. The magnificent oak tree may live hundreds of years. Life cycle of the monarch butterfly. The butterfly lays its eggs on a milkweed leaf. A caterpillar hatches from the egg. It spins silk to attach itself to a leaf. Becomes a chrysalis, and the butterfly grows inside. The butterfly emerges two weeks later. The butterfly flies. Life cycle of the sunflower. A seed waits through the winter. In the spring, the seed takes a root. The root and stem grow. A bud develops. It blooms into a large yellow flower. In the fall, the sunflower dies and its seeds drop. Life cycle of the green frog. The green frog lays its eggs in water. In a few days, a tadpole hatches. The tadpole begins to swim and eat plants. The tadpole's legs develop and its tail shrinks. The froglet is almost ready to leave the water. The adult green frog lives on land. Life cycle of the white oak. An acorn falls to the ground. In the spring, the acorn takes root. A tiny shoot begins to reach upward. The seedling grows above and below ground. The sapling grows taller each year. After fifty years, the oak tree makes acorns. The end. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you. Have a great day. See you soon.